Hi, my name is Shawnee Lee, and I'm going to be presenting my work on the role of social economic status on effort moralization. Now, effort moralization refers to some work my colleagues had done, which showed that someone who is perceived as trying harder is also seen as a more moral person. However, I wanted to know, does social economic status influence this effect? After all, there's some really awesome research that showed that a more affluent volunteer was perceived as being more moral than their less affluent counterpart. And so that's what we tried to do in this study. We grabbed 178 undergraduates at UCI, of course, with their permission, and we gave them two prompts. On the right hand side, that's an example of the prompt. Uh, Tom was our high SES, low effort worker, and Geoff was our low SES, high effort worker. This was a two by two factorial design, both within and between subjects. And we asked participants to rate how well they were described by 14 different morality traits. We separated these morality traits into two different categories uh, core goodness traits, which are something like how trustworthy this person is on a seven point scale versus value commitment, which is how dedicated or hardworking this person is on a seven point scale. We can create composite scores. So for within subject, we did a paired sample t-test. And if you look on the bottom left-hand corner, you will see our results. Within subjects, you can see that people evaluated Geoff as being significantly more moral than Tom was. And again, as a reminder, Geoff was our low SES, high effort worker. But we wanted to see what exactly is the influence of SES in this model. And so we created different scores and put them into a linear regression model. And as you can see by the middle graphs, that my hunch was completely wrong. Um, the very bottom graph shows that differences in perceived SES status did not significantly predict differences in core goodness traits or differences in value commitment traits as evident by the very flat line. Um, however, you can see on the very top graph that differences in perceived effort did significantly predict differences in core goodness and value commitment traits. So overall, we definitely replicated my colleague's work and my assumption was very wrong. As a quick overview or summary of what this poster is about, we showed that high effort, low SES targets were judged to be more moral than low effort, high SES targets, sorry, Tom, and that differences in moral judgment were significantly influenced by differences in perceived effort, but definitely not differences in perceived SES. Personally, it's nice to know that no matter where you are in the ladder of life, that as long as you work hard and so you work hard, you're seen as a more moral person. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a great rest of your conference. Good night.